Okay, so we're going to do a pod review today on that pepper right there, and that is called the Resham Macedonian. So let's take a closer look at it. And this plant is quite a good producer. It's just not producing that much right now because it's not in the best location for producing a lot of peppers. But this plant can produce quite a bit of peppers. So let's pick this one here. Give you a good view of that. Let's pick that one and give that a taste test because that's actually ready. And the sooner you get these peppers off the plant, the better you are, the better off you are because the sooner the plant's going to put out more flowers and grow more and make more peppers. So let's take a look at this. That's an absolutely beautiful looking pepper, guys. That right there is what you call an embroidered pepper. Now, there's not many varieties out there that are embroidered. But this is one of them, and the Albanian Red Hot, I think, is another embroidered pepper. It looks pretty much identical to this. I think the Albanian Red Hot gets a little bit bigger and a little wider. So those get a little bigger and wider. There are a few other peppers out there. There's the Farmer's Market Jalapeno. That's an embroidered pepper. And I think there's a couple of more oddballs that are out there that are basically embroidered peppers like this one. So as you can see, it's just it's just a very gorgeous looking pepper. And I do know that this is a hot pepper. And they, the heat on these peppers can vary quite a bit. Sometimes they're really hot and sometimes they're medium heat. They're not really that bad. Last I think last year or the year before I did a pod review on one of these and the heat was a medium type of a heat. So it wasn't that bad. But I have eaten these at, at times and the Albanian hot where it was very hot. It was almost uncomfortably hot to eat raw. So you, cooking with it is fine. Also too with this pepper, keep in mind, you may or may not notice, but this pepper gets, it, it's a thin wall so it dries out and it gets very dry very quickly. It can dry on the plant. This pepper is the type of pepper that can literally dry on a plant if it's in full sunlight and you can just pick it off and powder it. So it's that kind of a pepper. But as you can see, it's got a nice weird shape to it and everything. It's a gorgeous pepper, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's turn it around and uh, let's give that a go. All right, guys, here we are. We are going to do a pod review on this monster of a pepper. That is called the Resha Macedonian. I believe it's from Macedonia, actually. And you can see all the corking on it. Very corky, very cracked, very... That's just the way the pattern is on this pepper. I've done a review on this uh, a few years ago. I don't remember how the review went, but I do remember it was warm. And I have eaten these uh, before in the past, and they are a warm pepper. So, But they can vary in heat. Some of these can get really hot, and sometimes they're just kind of mild. All right, so uh, without any further ado, let's give it a go. So far the heat is mild, but it could build. I, I think I remember this one, but it's it's very, very sweet. Wow, that thing was like sh eating sugar. See, I think the last time I did a pod review with this particular variety of pepper, I waited too long. It, it, it basically goes from like what you hear, see here, wall thickness, thick and juicy and everything. It'll basically go from like that state to like being thin walled and almost completely dry within, within like a two week period. It doesn't take long. It happens very quickly. So uh, I picked it at the right time actually. So hopefully this review is going to be a better perspective on this pepper. But so far it's not really hot. It's got some heat on it, but not really hot. It's really low actually. I think as I move up, it's going to get a little hotter. But, man, it was really, really sweet. And then after you chewed it up a little bit, a little bit of a tangy flavor came by. So that part we covered, but you want to know what it tastes like. So let me take another bite and try to get the flavor down a little bit better. I really can't describe the flavor of this thing. It's really strange. Um, it's not bell peppery. Though the sweet part of it, that apple flavor, when you first get that apple flavor, that's kind of bell peppery. 
but it doesn't really taste like cane. It doesn't really taste like hab uh, habanero, anything like that. I don't know what I don't know what flavor this thing kind of falls into. I guess if you were to pick one of the three, it would kind of like be a little bit on the cane type flavor side, but not doesn't taste like cane. It, but it, it doesn't taste like habanero. No fruitiness on it. It's just strange, the flavor of this thing. Now the heat is picking up as I'm moving up this pepper. It's a warm, uh, complete circle type of a heat. My whole mouth is warm, in other words. It's not just one area, but it is concentrating on areas of my tongue. I'll take another bite off this thing. That heat is starting to pick up now. It's strange. It's got a strange flavor. I don't even know how to describe it. It's very different from all the other pepper classifications. I can't say it really tastes like a cane. It doesn't taste like a bell pepper. And it doesn't taste anything like a habanero. So I don't know what world of class of flavor you want to put this in. But it's definitely got its own unique flavor to it. Uh, if you're not used to it, it might be off-putting a little. But not disgusting. But it's different. So if you're expecting to eat the pepper and be like, oh, I'm going to get a cane flavor out of it or I'm going to get a bell pepper flavor, you're not going to get anything like that out of this. This, this thing is a, has its own flavor. It's very unique. It's got like a tangy aftertaste to it, which with the flavor of the pepper itself is a little bit off-putting, but it's not bad, to be honest with you. A little bit off-putting if you're not used to that combination of sweet and sour, I guess you could say. It's a, it could be a little off-putting for you, but it's an interesting pepper nonetheless. Now, I have fried with this, like I made a, a pepper steak, and I made potatoes, peppers with bell peppers, and uh, what else I put in there? Onions and garlic, and I chopped one of these up and put it in there. That was pretty good. I liked the very mild heat from it. it. wasn't too strong. I wasn't looking for a strong heat in my meal, but the flavor of it was actually pretty nice. That went it went really good in that side dressing. So it is a good pepper. I'm not exactly sure how they actually use this in their country. I, I guess from Macedonia and surrounding countries. I'm not exactly sure how to use it, but uh, it's a good pepper and it's a fun pepper to grow. It's very interesting. I'm really, I'm really infatuated good by that corking effect on there. Now, the corking effect, which some people might throw them off a little bit, palate-wise, how, how, how that feels on your palate, it's not disgusting. For me, it's not, because I eat all kinds of foods raw, and it, it, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not bothered by texture a lot of times, so that doesn't bother me, but some people are, might be a little sensitive to texture, and so that might be a little bit like off for you. It'd be like chewing. It'd be like chewing something that's kind of on a hard and raw side for you. You may not like that effect, but if you do it, if you eat it a couple times or use it in your cooking a few times, it's not bad. Now this is referring to it in a raw state. If you cook with it, that effect really goes away. You're not going to feel that that rigidiness to it but that's a just it's just a beautiful pepper to grow guys this is if you've never grown a uh embroidered pepper definitely grow them just for the nostalgia of it because it's absolutely fascinating and i would imagine these would make a good market pepper though i have never brought this to a market i would imagine it would make a good market pepper but it, as far as the taste goes it would pretty much go good in anything um, I, I would say it'd probably go good in salads, but it would be best to cook with it, in my opinion. And you can dry these out and make a powder out of it, so you can try that. And they do dry relatively pretty easily. So, anyway, that was just a quick review on the Rezha Macedonian embroidered pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will offer seeds at the end of the year. I think there's seeds available now, but... These will be the latest seeds you get from this variety that I'm going. And uh, that's it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.